Hello, I'm Silicon Thaumaturgy, and welcome to Stable Diffusion Basics, short tutorials covering single and hopefully less obvious features in the Automatic 11.11 Web GUI. Today, we are going to learn how to use the prompt s slash r in the xy plot. Long story short, prompt s slash r searches and replaces text in your prompt, hence the s slash r. This script is good for testing multiple variations of prompts or even complete prompts. It is also essential when testing embeddings to find that perfect one. As an example, I'm going to show you how I tested different versions of my embedding with multiple prompts. Up here in the prompt box is my base prompt. To use prompt s slash r, scroll down to scripts and then select xy plot. Next, in either the X or Y dropdown, select prompt S slash R. The first text must be a string that is present in the prompt box. If it's not present, you will get an error and Stable Fusion will do nothing when you attempt to run. Next, add each additional string you want to test and separate each with a comma. For me, this means I'll include self1 as the first argument because it's already in the prompt. Then I will add self2, self4, self8, and self12 as the other arguments. When I click Run, this will cause Stable Diffusion to run the prompt with each of these five embeddings. But wait! There's more! Not only can you do prompt s slash r on one axis, you can do it on both! At first, separating the arguments with commas seems self-defeating, because that way you can't have a complex prompt like you could in regular text-to-image. Luckily, there's an easy way around this. Simply surround your text with quotation marks to ensure the program does not interpret your comma as a separator. As you can see, I've taken this to its logical conclusion by mashing together five prompts in a format that can be copied and pasted into the web UI. And that's all there is to it. All that's left to do is click Generate, and 25 deformed versions of myself will soon grace my screen. Thank you for watching! If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have ideas or requests for future videos, don't be afraid to leave a comment.